Hello and welcome to this infinitely virtual training video. In this tutorial we will learn how to log in to the virtual terminal server. The remote desktop connection client is used for logging into a virtual terminal server. Remote desktop connection has been included with all Windows versions since Windows XP. It is also available as a download for Mac OS X and Windows 2000 and earlier. If you need to install or update the remote desktop connection you can find the download links in the knowledge base article for this video. If you are running Windows Vista, Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 the remote desktop connection can be found at Start all programs, accessories, remote desktop connection. If you are using Windows XP or Windows Server 2003 it can be found at Start All Programs Accessories Communications Remote Desktop Connection. To log in to a virtual terminal server launch the remote desktop connection. In the computer field enter the IP address of your virtual terminal server. The IP address is emailed to the primary contact on the account after the server has been provisioned. If you do not know the IP address of your server then email support at infinitelyvirtual.com. Click on the options button. Click on the local resources tab. Make sure the printers option has a check mark then click on more. Make sure the Drives option has a check mark in it, then click on the OK button. Click on the General tab, then click on the Save As button. Select the desktop. In the File Name field, type in a friendly name, then click on Save. This will save an icon on your desktop for quick access to your terminal server. Click on the Connect button to connect to your virtual terminal server. You may receive a security warning when connecting to the virtual terminal server for the first time. If this happens put a check mark in the Don't Ask Again option and click on the Connect button. Enter your username and password then click on OK. For security purposes it is not recommended to put a check mark in the Remember My Credentials option. If a security message comes up put a check mark in the Don't Ask Me Again option and click on the Yes button. After connecting to the virtual terminal server the connection bar will appear at the top of the screen. The connection bar can be used to minimize, maximize or close the remote desktop connection client windows. The connection bar can be permanently pinned to the top of the screen or unpinned to auto hide. When not pinned at the top of the screen the connection bar will automatically disappear and will reappear when the mouse is moved into the area at the top of the screen. Clicking on the X in the connection bar will close the remote desktop connection but it will keep the session logged in and all open applications running on the virtual terminal server. To close all applications and log out of the virtual terminal server use Start Log Off. For more information on virtual server hosting office virtualization or cloud computing please visit www.infinitelyvirtual.com